Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of this special uh, edition of Achievements of Minecraft. So, in the last part of this achievement that we're currently working on right now uh, is actually called Chest Full of Cobblestone. So, if you guys are already like ahead of me already, go out mine. But because uh, I'm just gonna still get this achievement, no matter how slow I am, how fast I am, no matter how, no matter what speed you are. But all that matters, what counts, is that you can still get this achievement only one time. Once you get it, it's over. Then you don't need to do it again. So I do have a list. Of achievements that I have written down of what I'm gonna do for each episode so this is part two of the cobblestone uh, achievement so as you can see behind me is my hometown as you can see that is the village behind me okay so that's where I'm currently living at this point um, I will, at some point, will have my own separate house that's a little further away from the village. But, in the meantime, I will just leave myself at the village at this point until I find a way to make a home of my own self. So, I'm ready to get into this, everyone. So, if you're excited, hit that like button and leave a comment below and show me your support. And... Hopefully I can um, make some achievements on, in, in the making, um, but with that also, I have to remember that when I am tempting to do some achievements, I want to make sure that I'm doing it right. Because if you do it wrong, guess what? It might not turn out to be what you think it could be so always good to remember if you are wanting to do something to keep yourself busy but guess what I'll keep you busy for a while your wish is granted so if you're interested of me doing achievements I can most certainly can in some ways So, if you uh, missed the achievement for um, on rail, um, I do have that posted um, on YouTube. So, if you're looking for some achievements you need to figure out how to do, I've got one um, posted already that has an achievement already unlocked. Um, if you're interested, go ahead and look at that if you want. Um, like I said, if, the, if my videos take too long, Pause it, favorite it, whatever, whatever you gotta do to, you know, to stop right where it's at. Pause it, uh, exit, no matter what you do. But like I said, favorite it so that if, uh, so that you, uh, can get, uh, stuff from me in the future. But also with that. But, uh, I'm gonna stop right here because, one, you'll see why. I am still not currently used to these controls, but guess what? Oh, never mind. I got some planks. Never mind. Never mind. I was hoping I had some sticks, but guess what? I currently did not have any, any but I had some planks on hand, which is good. So what I'm going to do is make one recipe here. Boom, boom, and boom. One pickaxe in, in the craft right there and then craft this into a, a new pickaxe just one at a time but like I said you don't really have to do that but it, in my opinion it doesn't waste any experience points because you keep your experience by using classic crafting and you can keep re remaking the same tool over and over and over never ends 
but with the anvil is what they call it once you uh, use it the first time you, you you get you lose one experience points a uh, one experience point but or one le level point but with that including it's just not going to be one level every time so then you have to double it every time you use the anvil so basically one time is one level point the second time is two level points then the third time is four level points so you're adding a double number of the same the same number twice so it's going up in doubles so one two four eight 16, 32, and so on and so on. So, like I said, it's not going to be the same level points you had before. So, in this format that I'm showing you, that you can craft the items without using your own experience or level points. Because level, actually, the levels actually do um, save you in some way. Um... But it will be harder to do, though. Let me put it that. It will be harder to do. Um, reason for that is... Uh, reason for that, in that reason, I would say... Is that that when you uh, are underwater, for example. Because this is a really good example. It really is. So let's say you had a helmet on. With no uh, enchantments on it. And you're basically, um, bubbles, or you're, uh, oh, what you call it, um, you're, uh, oh, what you call it, your air, pretty much. Uh, you can't hold it that very long without having a, a enchantment on your helmet that allows you to stay underwater longer. So each level counts as thing like 15 seconds adding to each of each bubble that is added, or adding adding to more time to your um uh I would have to say your um, airways or your breath pretty much holding your breath underwater eh not so much but in Minecraft if you have a, a um a helmet with a, a, a with a enchantment on it allows you to breathe underwater longer then yes you can do that because it actually it adds 15 seconds for each level you have so without the helmet I would count how many t how much time you have within the water without the helmet and then put on the helmet and add 15 seconds for each level you have currently. The higher the level, the more time you have. The less of the levels you have, the less time you get. Keep that in mind. But, look at this. Again. So, it might be a, like I said in the last uh, episode of this, is that it's a tedious process just to do this. Just using one tool the whole time. But like I said, if you're lucky finding um, some diamonds, if you're lucky enough to get diamonds, be my guest, because you will last longer with the diamonds. But I'm using stone currently, because I only have one pick diamond pickaxe, and once it's gone, it's gone forever. I have no way of repairing it at this point. So, that's why I said I'd rather, rather just build, actually just mine and mine and mine until my um, pickaxe health bar is actually gone almost completely. And then just go ahead and uh, craft another pickaxe, the same kind, and and then crafted it again with the same newly item with the battered pickaxe and it crafts you a brand new pickaxe it just does um 
but like I said, like like I said, this is a tedious process. It may seem long, but it's worth it. It really is. So, like I said, it's something you can do, um, but always keep re always keep in mind and remember that if you want to get some achievements, you ain't gonna get them real easy. There are some achievements that is really, 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 really difficult. So, like I said, if you really want to get these achievements in some way. So, the only way I could say is that if you want to get the achievements, you got to do it like what it says. But, there are some that you have to wait on until you have a co-op player to help you with the achievements. That is only for the mini games. If you guys have achievements for mini games, you're lucky, because I can't do them just yet. So I'm just trying my hardest to get a certain achievement as a good thing to have done. Or have a good thing done for that, in that, in, in that some way, so... But you can get another rack. But there is achievement that I will show you to get into the nether in, in some way. If you guys already have that achievement, you can still watch this video. Or watch the video of the achievement for that. But in that way, that in order to get to that point, um, I would have it built already. But... I won't, I will not have it activated in some way because I don't, well actually I'm not going to do that because if I did that I just, I'm thinking I might build a portal without knowing that is an achievement already. But, so I'm going to show you how to do that because one, you're not just going to get the obsidians that easy. Um, because it seemed like you can get the obsidians real easy. Well, guess what? There's, there it goes, finally. Look at that. I was talking away and my pickaxe broke. Second time in a row. So, what I'm going to do is go build that. And instead of me yakking so much, I will currently uh, try to uh, get this achievement before I have to do a third part of this because that will be bad if I do. I'm gonna get one more stack of this. So let's see how far I can go just with this pickaxe here. See if I can fill this whole hot bar with cobblestone. Oh, 
like I said before, it's a tedious process. If you if you need to do this quickly, diamond pickaxes are a lot quicker than my stone pickaxe right now because it's a lot durable than the stone pickaxes. I just need two more. Boom. Now let's see where it gets me at. As you can see in the last uh, last episode of this same achievement, is that um, that it's actually in my home, and I'm in the wrong one here. And I'm right here. So I'm going to go ahead and add 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6, and 7. And I only need, let's see, three more full stacks, and I think 16 more in one stack. So I'm going to go ahead and grab. 16 just to make sure my theory is correct The reason why I'm grabbing it from one location because it's easier for me to go to one location and Then go off and go on to the next pretty much So it's always easy for me to grab and then go <laughs> Which is always easy for me in my opinion I should say So I got 16 now. Now all I have to do now is just get, think after this I will need three full stacks of cobblestone. And then hopefully I can do that real soon before I have to end it. And look at that, again, going into a different home when I don't need to. Look at that, 16 was the answer for that. And I need three full stacks of 64. There it is. <sighs> Sometimes I'm thinking, always thinking ahead of myself sometimes, but you know, not always, that's not always the best thing to do, is just think ahead of yourself. It's not always the best thing. It really isn't. 
Um, I will be soon, hopefully, starting up uh, Pokemon Red up again. Um, not anytime soon, but hopefully soon. Um, because I really do want to complete the game. Um, but there's some things I gotta do in that game first before I actually think on that. So, I think I'm gonna go on to a new location here. Um, let's see here. Where do I wanna go? Where there is cobblestone. Well, guess what? It's up here. <laughs> so I'm going to move this over just one and go up here. Go ahead and start mining uh, this area just a little. So if you, uh, you know, are, are if you if you guys are wanting me to do Pokemon Red, Leave it in the comments below, and then I can just finish it off, and then, you know, and that'll be the end of the series, actually, because there's no extended addition to it, so, I mean, you can run around and do whatever, you know, but you won't be, able, you won't be able to battle the trainers, but the only trainers you can battle again, and again, and again, and again, is the Elite Four and the Champion. Which, not yet, I'm not going to spoil who the Champion is just yet. So, is it a him or is it a her? Does anybody know? Because I certainly don't. <laughs> I really don't. But I do like uh, the Pokemon Sun uh, Champion Defense title series because I honestly thought, you know, like defeating the champion and then you become the champion, but really, you don't really. You think you're the champion, but the, really, the official champion is actually the region's champion. But in the Pokemon Sun, there ain't no champion other than you once you complete it. So, yeah. L literally, that's that's really what the champion is in that game there. Like, you're the champion only if you defeat none other than Kakui himself. And yes, when I tried to battle him the first time, well, let me just say, I wasn't happy. Let me just say, I had to do, I had to do severe backtracking just to get to that point and then relax my tensions of my muscles because sometimes it's not always a good thing to have tense in your muscles. It really isn't. Not a good idea. Never a really good idea, really. So, and yeah, I defended my, I actually uh, defeated him, took the title, finally, like, a long while ago when the, first, when the game first came out, so, um, I basically played and played and played until I got to a point where... Um, got to a point where I can just get, uh, basically, uh, defend my title, um, but like I said, if, if any of those who out there right now also have the same title, I would like to uh, have a chance of going against you in some 
at some point. But here's the question. How are you and I going to do that if, if you um, are located somewhere else other than here? But I already have plenty enough here and you know, like I said, so let's see if I'm right about this because it says chalk, a uh, uh, chest full of cobblestone and I only need three stacks and look how many I have. Almost three and a quarter, pretty much. Like, really? Three and a quarter. Not bad. I'm gonna place that in here, and let's hope for the best. Boom. Boom. And there it is. 20 G's. Chest full of cobblestone. Right there. I like it. So that's the achievement, everyone. For that... That was quite, uh, you know, it's, that is something you can do. But guess what? I've got four, 14 extra. Woohoo! So all this in here is 1,728 cobblestone all together right in here. And one chest. And guess what? You get, you get to keep it all, like right here. Let me, I'm just saying, you can keep all this cobblestone, use it as many times as you want. But you've got over a thousand here in this, in this chest here. Um, but yes, as you guys noticed, I have a jukebox. But it's actually the uh, music box. But I don't really know the actual name for it. Um, it's, I think it's like a, uh, like a music type thing, but, um, I did get an achievement for that, uh, thankfully. <laughs> Got lucky with it, actually. I really did. Uh, I went to, like, a certain cave, and I found, like, a music disc without having to kill, without having a skeleton killing a creeper. And let me just say that it's hard to do that. Um, because in order for the skeleton to, to actually kill it, uh, you've got to have to do something in order for the creeper to sit there and then just have the skeleton just hack away at you. But really, you're hacking it to attack its ally instead. Um... But I found I found a way to um, get this uh, music box here. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, well, okay, okay. I take that back. I mean, I do got diamonds, but not enough. Um, but there is achievement that I'm currently hoping, hopefully, going to do soon. Um, that is. But um, I did a little um, fishing, a little bit. The first um, thing comes out of the water is a water bottle. Then the next thing comes out is a puffer fish. Great idea for a potion ingredient, actually. And then the next thing comes out is a fish. And I got achievement for that because when you cook it in a furnace, you get the achievement that is for it. And you're probably wondering why I've got um, horse, har horse armor in here is because there's a reason for that. Um, I'm also going to uh, have achievement at some point. But I do want to show you show it off that you can get achievement for getting this animal in some way. Um, but the next achievement on my list will be um, a pack of five. If you're wondering what that is all about, you have to wait and see what that's all about. 
Um, but there are some other achievements I could be doing right now, but this whole episode is based off the cobblestone idea. So, I mean, it's not that bad, at least. You know, it's something. Something to, to keep my mind off of things. So, yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. So, if you like this video, please leave a like and a comment below. And show me your support that you like this series. And if you really want me to continue with the achievement series going through on Minecraft, hit that like button. Show me your support and leave a comment. And I hope to see you guys at some point on Minecraft. The none other than Survival Man on Survival Guide. Catch you guys later.